What's new and what's missing in MIUI 12.0.1.0 stable based on Android 10 running on the Redmi K20 Pro? What's up peeps, Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have a look at what is new and what is missing in the India build of MIUI 12.0.1.0 stable based on Android 10 running on the Redmi K20 Pro. So as you can see, the security patch is from June 2020. At the time of recording the video, this is the latest security patch. Very rare to say it for a Xiaomi update. Moving over to the application vault. This is the old application vault. Next up, let's have a look at the recents and bam, there it is. Those are your recents. You do not get the option of floating windows on the top left. You get the option of split screen however in case you want to open an application in floating windows just press and hold and bam here is the third option which is going to open the application in a floating window now a thing you might notice the edges are not rounded and yes that is an issue in this build and it is what it is next up another thing i noticed is that the icons are not animated so on miui 12 builds in china the gallery icon, the setting icon gets animated when you move to the home screen. They're not animated in this case. And the reason for this is that this build comes baked in with poop, sorry, Poco launcher. So if you go into settings and home screen, you can see that the default launcher is Poco launcher. And the only thing which the Poco team has ever made doesn't work fine because have a look at these animations. They just vanish away. They haven't been able to fix it for like ages and i'm pretty sure most of those who are using poco launcher have given up on xiaomi fixing this animation issue next up if we go into settings and about phone tap on the storage you do get the animated effect in the storage section but have a look at that padding in the status bar i mean there is definitely some room for improvement you can shift the time a bit on the left the battery a bit on the right and i think the icons can also be moved a bit up so we have padding issues as well on this build next up if we go into settings and always on display and lock screen you do not have always on display theming that option is missing you do have a new clock which has been added to the lock screen clock format and this is that clock next up moving over to display going into brightness level you have the option of sunlight mode which works only if you disable automatic brightness because it is supposed to be used outdoors when the sun is shining bright you do have anti flicker mode as well along with the option of dark mode 2.0 wherein you have the options of scheduling your dark mode you can configure dark mode in third party applications then you also have the option of adjusting the contrast automatically in system font tap on my fonts the default font is roboto so me landing or xiaomi's fonts are not there Go into status bar, you do have the new control center with animated icons in the control center. And if you do not like this iOS cloned control center, you can always disable it and go back to the one from MIUI 11. Next up, if you go into sounds and vibration, you do not have the option of sound assistant. That option is missing. Nothing much to talk about in notifications. Home screen, yes, we do have poop, sorry, Poco launcher in the building with broken animations and broken stuff. Go into wallpaper tap on my page go into wallpapers you have the option of super live wallpapers and the different landing locations which are available for the earth super live wallpaper are these three similarly if we look at the mars super live wallpaper you again have three landing locations and the other two locations which were added recently in miui 12 china builds have not made their way over here the themes application as you can see is still the old one and you do not even have the option of themes lab next up if you go into privacy you have the all permissions option but what is missing over here is permission notifications and permission logs so those options did not make its way either and yes this is your half-baked privacy option go into battery and performance you do have the new animation you have battery saver and the option which they announced with miui 11 ultra battery saver finally present in miui 12. moving over to additional settings and let's go into full screen display 
You do have full screen gestures and you can access your Google Assistant if you swipe from the edges. However, you do not have Android 10 gestures. That option is missing. If we go into button shortcuts, you do not have the option of partial screenshot either. And going into developer options, the option of enabling your FPS on the screen is also missing from developer options. And oh my God, you get Google's digital well being and parental controls. So Xiaomi's own implementation of screen time and focus mode did not make its way to this build either. Going into special features, you do have game turbo. However, you do not have the option of voice changer in this. We have the option of video toolbox, something which you can activate and it gives you multiple options if you swipe from the left hand side or the right hand side, wherever you set it up. So you have the option of recording your screen screenshot call and play video with screen off which you can use to play youtube videos with the screen off tap on style and you can change your display color so you have original outdoor cinema retro and black and white all of these options are working absolutely fine and if you tap on any of these applications they are going to open in a floating window so this is what video toolbox is all about next up in special features you do have floating windows we already talked about that you have front camera effects and second space a feature which is missing from here is light mode next up we can talk about the applications so we can start with the gallery application this is like a half-baked application as well you have photos and albums but you do not have the memories option on the top and neither do you have the option of a video editor if we go into settings you do have the option of sharing your photographs securely without sharing the location information and the metadata of the picture and you also have new filters and dynamic filters which have been added which are present in this build next up we'll have a look at the file manager so the file manager is still the old one the themes application we already talked about the fact that this is also the old one next up we have the security application all you get in the security application is the new animated icon you do not get the utilities tab which is present in menu i12 china builds next up we can have a look at the clock application so the clock application is also the old one and if you have a look at the calendar application this is a new one wherein you do have the new cards ui and other than that we can also have a look at the camera application so this is the camera application you get another half baked application we can go into settings you do have the option of having a custom watermark and then you also have the option of customizing it so if you go into camera modes you can either have a more tab or a more panel in the camera ui and you can also change the accent colors of the camera application right now it is set to yellow we can set it to blue tap on apply and now if we go back to the camera app you will see that the accent colors are now in blue however the features which are missing over here are clone mode and then in short video you had a kaleidoscope mode and the latest MIUI 12 China build also had some new filters option in the camera application which would let you use AI filters that option is also missing and last but not the least we can check out the weather application so the weather application is the new one and it works absolutely fine all in all my opinion this is a shitty build from Xiaomi and as they always do MIUI 12 in China gets more features as compared to the other regions which include the global builds and the builds which they roll out in India. My advice to you, save your data. This build doesn't have any good or any major features. Most of the features are missing and we do not even know when Xiaomi is going to add them to the global and the Indian builds of MIUI 12. And there it is peeps. That was our first look at MIUI 12.0.1.0 stable based on android 10 with security patch from june 2020 running on the indian variant of the redmi k20 pro with poop launcher in the building and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you